On this episode of Delivering Marketing Joy, we talk with Paul Bellantone about the new Get In Touch campaign and why it matters. Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. I am your host, Kirby Hossman, and I am pumped. I have another repeat guest and one who's been on here a few times, the president and CEO of PPAI, Mr. Paul Bellantone. Thank you so much for being back. Kirby, how are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you as well. I'm doing great, man. You know, I've been wanting to talk to you because um, you and some of the great leaders at PPAI have launched the Get In Touch campaign. Um, can you give us a quick update about what that campaign is and why is PPAI doing it? Well, um, in the, the, the quickest way that I can explain it is this is our attempt. This is our um, charge at growing the industry. As you know, we've talked about this before. Yep. PPAI's role is to grow and protect the industry. This one is a straight line to grow, and it's our way of making sure that when there are marketers out there, that they're spending their dollars and putting them towards promotional products. Mm -hmm. We know that they have a lot of choices. We track against a lot of other media. Mm -hmm. We want to grow the promotional products pie of their spend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, and I really, for, and again, I know you and I have talked a little bit off air. I love this concept. And, you know, I think sometimes we, I say this, and you may have heard me say this before, so many times we get in at the end of the conversation and right. we need to be a part of building campaigns at the front end. And it feels like that's right. part of what you're trying to do. We are. It's a, and, and the reason we're doing it is to grow the pie. Mm -hmm. How we're doing it is it's a, a five year mm -hmm. multi-million dollar campaign. That's going to, it's two prong at a, at a, a top level. We're actually going to be speaking directly to the advertisers, the marketers, the people who are controlling the spend. But on the grassroots level, we're also putting tools in the hands of our members that are going to allow them to speak to their customers about the value of promotional products. Mm. We're going to have toolkits. We're going to have access to research. We're going to have access to advertising and banner ads. And, and over the coming months, you'll see us rolling out these toolkits that our members we will be able to join us and actually spreading that terrific story about promotional products. Mm, I like it. So you're arming, you know, ad agency folks with information, but you're arming promotional products professionals with information as well. Absolutely. Yeah. I know we're, you know, we're so unique and so blessed to be able to have literally thousands and thousands of salespeople, promotional consultants on the street. Well, what a better way to get the message out than by, by, giving those tools, those resources, and that knowledge to those promotional consultants. Yeah, I love it. And so one of the things you're doing is you're doing this launch at Advertising Week. Yep. Advertise, so, so why? Why then? Well, for me, um, doing it at Advertising Week uh, makes perfect sense because it's really the place where that community comes together. It's where the thought leaders of advertising come together and talk about what's happening in their marketplace now and what's happening in the future. By us having a seat at that table, we're giving them the information directly. Mm. And, and what we've found is that in the past, while there's been all of this talk about digital, where all of their industries are going, we've been able to talk about the value of giving that physical product along with the growth of these other marketplaces. So we know that we deserve a place at the table. We know we have the research to support that place at the table, and we believe that there's no better place to do that than with Adweek. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been rolling it out for months with our members and having them go directly to their members, but I, I was thinking about it like this. When, um, when a car company has a new auto launch, where do they do it? They do it at the Detroit Auto Show. Mm -hmm. That's where all of the manufacturers and the press get together and talk about what's going to be new and exciting. Well, this is our national auto show, right? This is where we go to talk to the, the thought leaders in that marketplace. Yeah. No, I'm super pumped. And you're going to get an opportunity to talk to Mr. Seth Godin again. I will. We are, again, using Seth to be our spokesperson, and we're sponsoring his presence there. A couple of reasons. Seth is great at drawing the best marketing minds together. 
So it really is a reflection on us that we would choose someone like Seth to to represent our industry. Mm -hmm. The other thing is we both, um, I think that promotional products, the association, our industry, and Seth have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. We all break through the clutter. (laughs) We get to be creative. We stand out in the crowd. And, uh, you know, what a better spokesperson. Well, there is no better spokesperson than Seth Godin to represent us. No, I agree. I agree. And so let's say you're listening to this uh, and you're thinking, okay, this, you're, you're listening to uh, the idea that we're going to raise the game, elevate the industry. As a distributor listening to this, we're busy, right? <laughs> so we're busy. Like, yeah. if, you, if you have to pick one thing, is there, it, maybe there's not one, but it, what's the single best thing? that each individual person listening can do to help elevate the industry? Well, if if I can, I'm going to start with one thing, but then I'm going to branch it out. What I think that every distributor should do is get in touch. And there's a reason we chose that. It's about getting in touch with your customers and what their needs are and communicating it. It's about getting in touch with the power of promotional products. It's about getting in touch with the research that we're putting into the marketplace. It's about getting in touch with the consultative way of doing business. And it's about having the buyers get in touch with us. Mm -hmm. So what I would ask the distributors to do is get in touch with the campaign, Mm -hmm. find the pieces that work best for them and their clientele, and then use it. Mm -hmm. Steal Mm -hmm. the entire campaign from us and make it part of their, their company culture. Or just pick the parts that make the most sense for their business and for their clients and take that and promote it out. So we're going to put the toolkit out there. It'll have the graphics. It'll have the language. It'll have the research. But the thing that we ask is get in touch. Um, whether you choose to use the whole program or just a little bit of it, I don't want it to go unknown. Mm-hmm. So it's to pay attention to this messaging and really get in touch with the campaign. Yeah, get in touch with it and certainly help communicate it, it seems like to me. It, it, let's, if um, And I don't know, so I'm just springing this question on you. Sure. But is, there, is there a place where we can find information about that, it, it, where they can find information about what you're putting out there, the toolbox and all that sort of thing? Certainly. They can go to our website. Mm-hmm. It's ppai.org. Mm-hmm. They can call us here at the association. It's 972-252-0404. I think that's the right number, 972-252-0404, <laughs> and that's our general number here. They can follow us on social media. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they can join the PPAI uh, group on Facebook, and we've been putting a lot of information out there with links back. Or they can go to promotionalproductswork.org, which is actually a buyer-friendly site. So they can connect their own sites to that. And that has all that great research. It has the graphics. It has the images. It has the language that we're using to to promote this campaign. Yeah, I've been to the Promotional Products Works campaign. Org. It's a brand new website. Yeah, I, it, I think that's fantastic. I think it's really good, and I think it's a great resource for each of us. Um, so well done by you guys. Um, again, springing it on you a little bit, but I, I, you've answered my questions. I always give people an opportunity to ask me one question. I didn't tell you I was going to do that, but if, if you have one for me, I'll be open to hearing it. I do have one because I know you and I know you like making a difference. Okay. So I've been thinking about this and I actually wrote it down. So what is the most significant positive impact you've made on a client since the last time we've spoken? Hmm. Wow, that's a great question. Um, and it's been a little while since we've talked. It has been. It's been some months. So it, what's funny, and, and I'll, I'll say this, I think, and I actually just had this com- conversation with my team, is it's super easy for each of us in the industry to fall back in the pattern of taking a t-shirt order. Um, And where I have really recently been like refocused and honestly, after my conversation with Seth, it is talking about, you know, looking in my clients and saying, being more consultative, but more, not just about us, right? I actually just walked into a client about a month ago and said, um, here, I've drawn you up a campaign. And it had to do, obviously we had the the promo part, but we had TV, I had radio, I had print, I had everything that was a part of their marketing campaign budgeted out for them. And I I think it sounds like it wasn't even that big a client, but it was one of those moments where they looked at me and went, oh, thank you. And I think that the way that we as a group can, we say we're marketers, but when we actually go in like that, the 
t-shirt order, the stress ball order, the, the promotional products order takes care of itself Yeah. because you're separating yourself. And, and I don't know if that's exactly what you were looking for, but that was super gratifying for me. You're making a positive impact on your clients. You've become more valuable to them. Yeah. And that's what it's about. When you can become more valuable, that whole price commodity thing tends to just go away, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. It sure, well, again, the, the idea of whether they were going to buy something, not only that became an afterthought, but whether they're going to buy from me became an afterthought. And those right. are things often we don't get to. So, yeah. Well, impressive again. I've never, I haven't been able to stump you. So <laughs> you you've, been, you've had good, good answers to every question I've asked. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Hey, and thank you for taking the time. I know you've been hustling around the country and I appreciate you uh, making a few minutes for us. Thanks for the invite, Kirby. Absolutely. So that wraps up this edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, but wait, can you do me a favor? Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done it already, the way to do it's right over here. And hey, if you want to watch the last episode, check that out over here. Again, before you leave, subscribe.